What's up, garden people? We're gonna take a little walk through the entryway garden today. To the left there is the Temple of Bloom, seven sunflower tree. It still needs some staking up and cutting back that I still need to get to, but it's doing well. Little zebra grass in that pot right there. Um, I got some echinacea that I just planted. I divided it from the container and planted it in um, just a few days ago, so don't look too closely. Uh, and that gardenia seems to be making a comeback, we'll see. Over here we have a royal purple smoke tree. And it'll be really pretty when it grows up. Here's a Wygelia that I transplanted in a video not too long ago, doing well. Dwarf bush honeysuckle seems to be getting its variegation back, which is good because that's the reason it's where it is. And this little blue stem grass is struggling. We'll see if that makes it. And we did get to the mulching, but as you can see, it wasn't a very thick layer, and we do have some weeds popping back. So the battle, the war waged against the weeds continue. Snow showers, weeping cherry, doing well. Putting out some new growth again. And a butterfly bush up there and a gardenia down here that seems to be coming back a bit. So quite a few new plantings going on here. Um, I did record it. I'm not sure if it'll make it up on YouTube, but we'll see. Silver Mound Artemisia right there that I divided and have planted. So again, don't look too close. Ruby Falls Weeping Redbud right there. I'll insert a picture just spectacular. Castle Spire Berries putting on their berries for the winter. And the Ruby Falls might need to be cut back just a little, give this blue kazoo some room. And if you watched a past video, you saw that this Castle Spire, as well as the one on the other side, both got chewed up. They seem to be making a comeback. And these annuals looks like needs a little bit of cutting back but they've been really pretty little puffballs of fun this summer see again nice new growth coming out on that castle spire so that's good it's coming back that one that artemisia right there we'll see if it takes hello little bunnies we are a bunny town garden over here. There's nothing but bunnies actually in this blue tree. There's a spot where they like to hang in the shade. So I just do, I don't spray anything or lay anything. I just kind of do my best to plant what they won't eat or plant and surround with like a cage until it gets established enough, big enough that they can't eat the whole thing. <laughs> um, and I just planted this Wygelia uh, name up on the screen. It seems a little bit thirsty. I might need to give it more water. But we'll see how it does. And I'm trying really hard. I just planted all those irises back there as well. I'm trying hard not to plant too close to that baby blue spruce because it will get fairly big. This is a pollinator for the strong box that I have planted in the corners of the entryway gardens. Coral bark Japanese maple doing really well in this spot. Um, it had been moved around quite a bit before its eventual placement here. Um, and it's been doing great ever since new growth coming out. It's a really pretty, pretty tree. Um, it'll get fairly big, but I'll do some trimming on it this winter and just keep enjoying it. This grass, patchy rose, beautiful grass. Rose and geranium, little purple flowers down there. Lace cap hydrangea. And then this is a summerific lilac crush. 
a little bit decimated at the bottom, but the blooms will be just fine. And tough Stuff Aha Hydrangea, which has just been stunning. Ever since it started to bloom, it's just been beautiful. A couple of new plantings right there as well. If you saw in a video, I cut back this Caryopteris and it's coming out and doing just fine. And it's actually more closely formed to the other Caryopteris there right behind it. Miss Laminabilia, that yellow plant right there, gorgeous plant. And the salvias that were planted, there's a salvia saga going on here. All the entryway I tried to make kind of match at this point this season and so I've been successful I did have to switch out a few and such but we'll see how things go I did just cut the salvia back as well so we'll hope to get a second flush out of the salvia Some daisies right there and the grass could use some fertilizing more receding we'll keep working on it and over here we got a beauty berry that I cut back in a previous video it has come back in full force and it looks like the dinner plate hibiscus I'll probably cut back a stem or two just to kind of give it a little bit of you know circulation and air just a tad too close this dinner plate hibiscus I just replaced because the one that was there was flopping Magic Potion Spike Speedwell to the left there, and Cardona, Cardona, I'm not saying it right, Salvia that's coming back. Variegated Red Twig Dogwood is that bright plant right there, and as you can see, all the other dinner plate hibiscus behind it, they're all doing great, so I don't know if that flopping plant was a result of my pruning, or, you know, numerous factors, I suppose, could, could have gone into that. Midnight Sun Wygelia. And this bee balm is pretty good with the powdery mildew, but this one not so much. So I might take that plant out because I have a couple other bee balms right here and the powdery mildew on them don't get near as bad as that one particular plant. So we'll see if that'll survive for next season. Some more new plantings right here. So again, don't look too close. Some of them are taking, some of them are having a hard time in their cans. I need to cut back this sucker. I keep meaning to do it. I cut back all the other ones, but this one I left because I didn't have my pruners right at, this, at that time. And I've yet to remember to cut it back, but we'll get to it. So things are going and growing as they go in this entryway garden. These four pots I just planted up fairly recently, so the annuals are finally happy to be out of their little cans. Japanese holly in the middle of them. That'll get about one to two feet wide, um, eight to 10 feet tall, I believe. So they can stay in these pots for a while. So they'll be fairly perfect for some nice tall, evergreen interest in the winter in the middle here and I just cut back this cat mint and there's more new plantings in here as well everything seems to be taking for the most part the lobelia back there I'm not sure what's going on there so time will tell what stays what goes new gardens to form and such. About five years ago, none of this stuff was here and I've planted all these plants and put all this, these stones down and the grass and the mulch and moved all the dirt. And I am very much a YouTube learned gardener. So I hope I'm inspiring you, if you are a new gardener or a long time gardener, to get out and enjoy your garden journey and thank you for joining me on mine.